Director of Music at the Ashburnham, Massachusetts Community Church. And behind me here is a pipe organ, which we have been very fortunate to have a recording of, which you will be hearing pretty soon. Our guest organist for this recording is Dr. Deshik Cha, and you will hear him, but first I thought it would be fun to explain to you a little bit about how the organ works and what makes it sound the way it does. Uh, starting out, I will just explain that this is basically a big box of whistles, and you can see some of the different sizes of pipes there. The biggest pipes are wooden, some of them are metal, and then they go down to some pipes that are so small they're about the size of a drinking straw. The idea of having big and small pipes to make lower and higher sounds is quite old. A long time ago, people figured out how to make sets of pipes in different sizes out of materials like bamboo, such as this. If I play on these, blowing on them, you can hear the pitch going higher as we get the smaller pipes. These are all stopped pipes, they'll have plugs in the end. Some of these pipes here are open on the end. The wooden ones are stopped so that they have a deeper tone. This organ was built in 1886 by George S. Hutchings of Boston. Hutchings also made the organ that was first installed in Symphony Hall in Boston a few years after this. This organ has two keyboards for your hands, called manuals, and one keyboard for your feet. The upper keyboards, the upper keyboard here is connected to these stops, which activate different sets of pipes with different high and low tone colors. The keyboard down here is activated by the stops on this side, which again, make loud, soft, high, and low pitches. In the old days, organs like this were pumped with bellows. You might have to have, for a big organ, a whole room full of young boys standing on bellows and stepping left, right, left, right to get enough air to power a big organ with all its pipes. Today we have a motor in the back room here attached to a blower. Those are electric and the motor was patented in 1903, the blower in 1907. When we turn on the organ, you can sort of hear the, I think even from here, you can hear the blower start up. The motor. And you can see the wind chest take a deep breath as the air comes in through a big hose from the back room. Now, as the different pipes are activated, each pipe here has its toes, or its toe in a hose that goes to a separate wind chest. Pulling out one of these stops will let the air into the wind chest that belongs to that set of pipes. If I play, if I play the note that looks like middle C on the piano, right now nothing's happening because I have not pulled out any of the stops. If I pull a stop that says eight feet pipes, it's going to be the same pitch that you get on the piano for that note. Here's on the other keyboard. It's a little bit louder, but it's the same pitch. If I pull out the four foot stop, that same key is going to get the sound that you would expect to have from this note an octave higher. So you get without moving my finger. And then the two foot pipe is smaller yet. If I do all of them at once, you get three sounds coming from just that one key. And if I do the 16 foot, it will be that note from the same key. On this keyboard, 
chord, we have one fairly loud stop, eight foot. We have a soft one. And of course the higher notes. This stop lets the air into the wind chest for the pedal keyboard. You can see the little things pulling open the valves. If I couple the keyboards together and do swell to break, watch what happens. When I press a key here, it's going to pull that one. And if I do to pedal, it means the pedal is now coupled to both keyboards. Perhaps you've heard the old saying, somebody pulled out all the stops. These are the stops. If I pull these all out, we would have a very loud sound. Even just playing one note on this, it's going to get a lot of pipes all activated at once. If you look at the wind chest there, see what happens if I'm playing a lot of notes at once. Did you see it? Yeah. Running out of breath? Definitely. When you watch Dr. Cha's video, be sure to watch where his fingers are on the two keyboards and also see his feet dancing on the pedals and also watch that wind chest and see how it's breathing like a singer as he plays louder and softer combinations of pipes. Thank you and enjoy the program.